Good morning. Hey, how you like my flower? It's important this morning we're going to talk about it. So, I um, hope everybody's doing great. Please, as you're popping in, please send me a little comment be below and let me know that you're doing great and to say hi to me. So, thank you. And if this blesses you, I'd love for you to share it when we get finished, too. But I um, hope you're having a great Sunday morning. This is my Sunday morning moment for today. And um, I have this flower here because it's really important. And I see Blake Blansett is watching me. Blake, I love you, my friend. I've been praying for you this week. And um, may this bless you. But I want you to look, everybody look at my little daisy. How many petals are on this daisy? Lots of them, right? And I wanted to use this daisy as an illustration because um, you have a million thoughts in your head, don't you, going on all the time. Good thoughts, bad thoughts, thoughts about fear, thoughts about success, thoughts about hopes, thoughts about dreams, thoughts about things you want to do, thoughts about things that there's no way that's going to happen. Is that true? That's true, isn't it? Well, I want to talk with you just a little bit about your thinking test. Um, first of all, uh, it's really the truth. We know that when a gardener plants a garden, what happens? He gets up what he plants, right? If he puts corn seed, he gets corn. If he plants um, broccoli, he gets broccoli. If he plants tomatoes, he gets tomatoes. That's just the way it is. If you plant corn, you're going to get corn. And so the law of the harvest is just a natural law that happens. So whatever you put out into the world, that's what you're going to get back. Whatever you plant in your garden, that's what you're going to get back. So what in the world does this daisy have to do with anything? Well, I wanted to just give you a little challenge today to quit complaining. You hear what I'm saying? Just quit it. Who wants to hear it anyway? Nobody. You know, you don't want to hear it yourself. You want to hear yourself complain, but we don't want to hear other people complain, right? But we just have to stop the complaining. The griping, the complaining, it has to stop now, today. It has to stop here. It's got to be gone. No complaining. Hashtag no complaining. How many of you said, wouldn't that be an awesome world? That'd be great, wouldn't it? Let's have that no complaining going on. So that's what I want to challenge you to do this week, to become aware of your thoughts. Become aware of what comes out of that mouth, because guess what? Comes out of that, what comes out of that mouth comes out of this brain. So it enters your brain first, and then it comes out of our mouths. But some of us, it's just a habit. We just talk about the negative instead of talking about the positive. But quit it. And let me tell you why. Because I believe that what you send out of your mouth basically is like a prayer of what you ask God to give you more of. God's listening all the time. He's paying attention. So what's coming out of your mouth? Griping, complaining, ugliness, what's going wrong? So you want more stuff going wrong? Well, then just keep on complaining because that's really what you're asking God to do for you is to give you more of what you're talking about. And really, that's the way the brain works, too. The brain works in such a way that whatever you have big energy about, the brain says, oh, that's what she wants. Let's give her more of that. Let's help her find more of that. Let's make it our job to make that happen in her life. Is that what you want happening? Well, I'll tell you, I used to complain and gripe. I really don't do much of that anymore because I really had to have hashtag start a new habit. <laughs> hashtag start with some new words. So how do you even know what you should be talking about? Well, Philippians 4, 8 is what I call the thinking test. There are eight things on there. Now, pretend this daisy had eight flowers. You could think about it, you could look at it, and you could pay attention to it if it met all eight. Now, this is what I used to do. I used to say, well, here's one little petal. I'm going to pull it off because what I'm going to say is true. And because it's true, that means I can think about it, right? And I can talk about it. Yeah, because it's true. Hey, it really happened. Hey, it's real. Hey, I really believe this. So that means I get permission to think about it and talk about it. No, we don't. We don't. There are eight things that are the thinking test that decide, do we get to think about something? Do we get to talk about it? If it doesn't pass all eight of the test, you don't get to think about it. But you say, well, it's true. Nope, nope, nope. True is one thing. So what are the eight things? And hey, Randall Cagle, 
It's so great to see you, my friend. Awesome. Please, everybody, make a comment and let me know that you're here and um, say hey to me and just encourages me so much. Thanks for a little heart there. Thanks for a little thumbs up. But here's the thinking test. Okay, if you want to go back and look yourself, it's Philippians 4, 8. The first thing is, is it true? Well, that's the only test we ever go by. Well, that's the truth, girl, so I get to talk about it. No, you don't. You don't get to talk about it just because it's true. It's one of the thinking tests, so you can put a check mark. Oh, it's true. I passed that test. What's the next one? Is it honorable? Is it honorable? Does it have honor in it? Does it have something beautiful and prestigious and wonderful about it? Oh, well, it's true, but it's not honorable. Well, guess what? Just got shut down. Hashtag no complaining. If it doesn't meet true and honorable, guess what? You don't get to talk about it. You don't get to think about it. New words. Hashtag find some new words. Third thing, is it just? Just means it is equitable. It is right. It is fair. It is the right thing to be talking about. It is, um, if you stood between a group of people, uh, all of them would say this would be the right thing. Not just, guess what? One one thing not met on the thinking test shoots it down. Hashtag no complaining. Hashtag find some new words. So, is it true? Is it honorable? Is it just? And is it pure? Okay, so that's the first four. We got four more to go after this. Pure. Is it, oh, you know, squeaky clean? Is it pure? Is it not contaminated, not filthy? Is it pure? Is it clean and lovely and just, oh, a beautiful thing to behold? Uh, did that not pass the thinking test? What you're thinking about, what you're saying, what you're talking about? Guess what? Even more than what we talk about, it's what we think about. Because what we think about is what we talk about. So really, we need to figure out what we're thinking about and talking about. Is it true? Is it honorable? Is it just? Is it pure? Fifth thing, is it lovely? Now, now, girls and boys, let me tell you, this is the only one I ever go to because if it's lovely, pretty much it's going to pass all the other ones. So it can be true, but if it's not lovely, is that a lovely thing to be talking about? No. Well, then don't be talking about it. Hashtag no complaining. Hashtag no, find you some new words. Do not think about it. Do not talk about it if it is not lovely. Oh, it is not lovely. We can't do it. Hashtag, no complaining. Is it commendable? Is it something you would commend and praise and recommend other people to do this, to be talking about this, to be thinking about this? Nope. Okay, throw it out. It's gone. Can't think about it. You cannot think about it. You cannot talk about it. Hashtag, no complaining. Is it excellent? Is it excellent? Is it Excellent. If you stood before a teacher, as this old second grade teacher says, would you make an A plus 100 on it? Is it excellent? If you would say, that is something excellent to be talking about. Oh, those are excellent words. Let's share them with the world. That's going to make everybody just even better. Really? True? Yes. Honorable, no. Just, no. Pure, no. Lovely, no. Commendable, no. Excellent, no. Hashtag no complaining. Got one more. Is it worthy of praise? When you finish talking, would somebody say, oh, that is so awesome. Oh, that just makes me feel so good. Oh, let's let everybody hear about that. Oh, thank you so much for saying that. My world is better because you said that. It is worthy of praise. Thank you so much. <sighs> Probably not right. Okay, so pass the eight thinking test. If it doesn't pass all eight, you don't get to think about it. You don't get to talk about it. Hashtag no complaining. So this is the challenge. Can you catch yourself complaining can you? And this is what I want you to do when you catch yourself complaining. I want you to say, I don't want you to judge yourself. I just want you to say, I just heard myself complain. I have new words. Hashtag no complaining. I have new words. I have great words today. Good job for paying attention. Celebrate that you're paying attention because you want to teach your brain. Pay attention when I complain. Help me hear myself complain. Help me hear myself so I can stop it. 
Hashtag no complaining. I hope you have a great day. Pass the thinking test. Catch yourself all week long. And I bet in about three days, you won't even be complaining anymore. Blessings to you. You're going to make everybody in your life happier and you're going to be so much happier. Hashtag no complaining. Have an awesome, 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 lovely day today.